Hello my fellow oddities, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about Netherrealm Studios' next game. Now usually Netherrealm Studios puts out a new game every two years and support that game for about one year. But after Mortal Kombat 11, this has changed up a bit. It has now been almost three years since that game came out and that was their last game. Now obviously this means there's going to be some changes for the future of Netherrealm Studios games, and while normally every two years they'll switch between Mortal Kombat then Injustice, I think it's going to be different this time. Even though Mortal Kombat 11 was the last game they released, I don't think the next one will be Injustice 3. But I'll save talking about that for a bit later, right now I'm going to be talking about when this reveal is going to happen. And it's more or less confirmed at this point that it will be happening this Thursday at the Game Awards. I mean, it would just make sense. Ed Boon is actually currently in LA right now where the Game Awards is, and also Mortal Kombat 11 was also shown at the Game Awards, so it's very, very, very likely that we'll be getting the reveal this Thursday. Now what game could possibly be revealed here? Well, that's the main part of this video. I'm going to be going through all six of the possibilities people have discussed in the past and kind of ranking them from least likely to happen to the most likely to happen. But before that, remember to like to help my channel grow, subscribe, and turn on the bell for all notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video, and comment down below which one of these you want the most to happen. Also make sure to join the Discord server which the link to will be in the description below. But yeah, starting off at number 6 with the least likely of these to happen is a horror game. Now this is probably the oldest rumored Netherrealm game. This goes back to even before Mortal Kombat 11 was announced. Basically, people were thinking that Netherrealm was going to make a horror game because of all the horror characters that have appeared specifically in the Mortal Kombat games. You had Freddy Krueger in Mortal Kombat 2011, you had Jason, Leatherface, Predator, Alien, all in Mortal Kombat X, so people were thinking, what if they just made a game out of all of these characters? But as the years have gone on, it's pretty clear that this is just not going to happen because of licensing issues. You see, Freddy, Jason, and Michael Myers are all owned by different companies, which means they would have to go to each one of them and ask them, hey, are you allowing this character to be in this game? And seeing as Netherrealm has never had a roster of characters under 20, yeah, they will not be going through 20, even more, different horror characters for all that licensing just for this one game. And this will also cause problems when these characters are switched around between licenses in the future. This is what happened with Mortal Kombat 2011, which, if you can see, is no longer on the Steam store. That's because Freddy Krueger was switched around between a different license, which means they could no longer keep selling him in that game. And it didn't mean they just got rid of Freddy, no, they had to take the whole game off of the store, which is just crazy. So overall, yeah, you're just gonna have to stick to Terror Drone. And number five is one that is not very likely, but is one that I really, really want to happen. And that's a Marvel vs. DC game. I do not think Marvel or DC are going to be very willing to help each other out. And especially since it's a fighting game, yeah, they're going to be fighting over which characters are better, which characters win in the story mode and stuff like that. It's just going to be a huge mess. But hey, you never know, Eternals made like two references to DC characters, so maybe this crossover isn't as far out as maybe I think. And number four, I have Injustice 3. Oh gosh, I really, really, really hope it's not Injustice 3. Now I actually really like Injustice 1 and 2, especially 2, but I am just completely disinterested in anything this series is doing at all. I mean, I did a reaction to the Injustice movie trailer, and I was planning to make a review on it, but I never knew when the movie actually came out, and I never bothered to check, so it kind of just went by, and I was like, well, guess it's too late now. And uh, apparently it's not very good. I'm just kind of sick of this whole Injustice universe with evil Superman, and the regime, and the insurgency, and it's just all getting kind of boring at this point. I honestly think this storyline should just stop where it's at. I think Injustice 2 was a fine enough ending. Now, like I said earlier, I don't think Injustice 3 will be Netherrealm's next fighting game, even though that's kind of been the pattern over the last few years. I don't even know why, because, I don't know, I'm just getting a vibe that they're not truly working on Injustice. I think something has changed between Mortal Kombat 11 and now they're definitely not working on the same old stuff that they always have before. 
They are cooking up something else, and I am here for it. Speaking of something else for Netherrealm, at number three, I have a Marvel game, which would be a breath of fresh air. Now, obviously, I like DC, and I really like Mortal Kombat, but it's just kind of gotten old with three Mortal Kombat games and two Injustice games. So I think a Marvel game could really mix things up and make Netherrealm Studios games more interesting again. I really hope this game is more, I don't know, lighthearted than Injustice was because obviously, if you played the games and if you've read the comics, Injustice is very, very dark and I just don't think I want that at all with a Marvel game. And while Marvel definitely has its dark stories, I just don't think it would fit the tone of the overall Marvel Universe. I mean, I don't think Dark fits the tone of the DC Universe overall either, but I'm just more accepting of that because it's DC, that's how it's been over the past few years, whatever. But with Marvel, I just don't think you can make all the characters super dark and edgy because that would just not fit at all. I swear, if this Marvel game starts off with Captain America punching a hole through Red Skull's chest, I will be extremely angry. And number two, I have Mortal Kombat 12. Now, I'm actually quite shocked with how high up Mortal Kombat 12 is on this list. I just feel like with the way Aftermath ended that they're kind of just going to continue off the story right away. Because I just feel like the ideas Netherrealm has for this next rebooted timeline are just going to be ones that they want to get through quickly and show all the fans. Because if this game is truly set in the Great Kung Lao era, then... Well, there's going to be a lot of changes, especially to the roster. I mean, what? You can't have characters like Sonya or Johnny or even Scorpion and Sub-Zero, at least in the forms they are now. Well, I guess Sub-Zero could work since there is multiple Sub-Zeros already, but with Scorpion, that's just like kind of Hanzo's thing. I don't think there's been any other Scorpions throughout the entire timeline. And especially with Liu Kang as kind of the new Raiden figure in these games, who knows what they're going to do next. I really hope they don't just like switch everything back to the way it was in Mortal Kombat 1 and all that and just have Raiden be the god and somehow find a way to revert it all back to how it normally is. That would really suck because I just want some change for Mortal Kombat, please. So yeah, I think this is very likely, especially since Mortal Kombat has been kind of gaining in popularity ever since Mortal Kombat 11 came out. I mean, there was two movies in one year and that year was this year and one of them was good and one of them was... I don't want to talk about it. And at number one, it's another Mortal Kombat related thing, and it's a Mortal Kombat 1 through 3 HD remake. Now this has been rumored for a very, very long time now, and there's like an entire timeline of events of how there was one HD timeline created by one developer, and then there was another one created by a different one, and there's just like a whole bunch of separate Mortal Kombat 1 through 3 HD remakes all around, going around, but none of them have really seen the light of day. But I think at the Game Awards, one will finally be announced, whichever one it is. And Ed Boon really wants this to happen, but for whatever reason, the WB higher-ups are just being stupid about this whole thing. Like, they're just trying to get a whole bunch of other people to do this remake, and then screwing over other people. It's so weird. I don't know why WB is like this. And it would also make sense since next year, the year this game would probably come out, is the 30th anniversary of Mortal Kombat. Honorable mention, while I was making this video, a leak came out, and I don't really like to talk about leaks and stuff because, like, 95% of the time, they're fake. And I don't really trust this one either, but it's getting a lot of traction, so I just want to discuss a Mortal Kombat 11 sort of trilogy thing. Basically, this leak describes a version of Mortal Kombat 11, but with every character from the past three Netherrealm games. This means characters like Ferator, Reptile, Armac could all come back in this one game. And I guess it would make sense since the first three games of the original timeline were transformed into Mortal Kombat Trilogy, so maybe it would make sense to do the same thing with this rebooted timeline, but I'm not really that sure. It's described as a Mortal Kombat 11 expansion, and I'm pretty sure Netherrealm explicitly stated they would not be doing anything with Mortal Kombat 11 in the near future, so... Yeah, I just really don't trust this leak at all, which is why it's an honorable mention. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Remember to like to help my channel grow, subscribe, and turn on the bell for all notifications so you get notified every single time I open a new video, and comment down below which one of these you want the most to happen. Don't forget to join the Discord, which the link to is in the description below, and that is it for this video, my fellow oddities. I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.
Thank you.